Hi there friends, Jen Neeson here, one half of Team Nisa, and today we're talking about investing in yourself. This is our chapter 12 review as we are going through the book, The Slight Edge. Now this one touches near and dear to my heart, and I just want to nail this one right on the head. The investment that you make in yourself, the biggest investment you can ever make in yourself is personal development. The chapter begins with a quote by Abraham Lincoln that says, Give me six hours to chop down a tree, and I will spend the first four hours sharpening my axe. What does that mean? You're going to spend most of your time preparing for the task. And the way you need to do that is by working on your mindset. We have a few key concepts here that he talks about in this chapter. He talks about continuous learning, the rhythm of learning, correcting your course, and your internal gyroscope. So what does that mean? Do the thing and you will have the power. You have to learn. You have to study. Most people stop studying after college, right? You got your degree and you're good. Well, you realize that there's so much more to this life if you have a vision. There's so much more you can learn and you must continue to grow. And the only way you do that is by studying. So you can study and put positive thoughts into your mind every day, but then you actually have to do the thing. <laughs> you actually have to do the work. And when you do that work, you have to understand that you're gonna fall short and you're gonna need to course correct. There are a few key quotes that he talks about in here. He talks about doubling your rate of failure. If you wanna reach a goal, you need to double your rate of failure. Your internal gyroscope or your course kind of course correction over the course of your life, my friends, that is your vision. That is your dream. And most of us, because we've been told no so many times in our life, we've stopped dreaming. But when you live by the slight edge, you realize that you must put be in control of what goes into your mind. You must learn, but then you must do the thing, and then you're going to fall off. Because why? You need to understand a little bit of science and anatomy, right? Neuroscience, our brains are super complex. You have your subconscious and your conscious mind. Well, because every decision that you make requires energy, literally glucose, your brain really strives to function on autopilot, meaning it doesn't want to make decisions for the little things that you do every day in your life, those simple things that are called your habits. It doesn't want to have to think about that. 99.9% .9 of the time, your brain functions on autopilot. The only way that you're going to change the autopilot by changing your habits is to understand them that you must master the slight edge, that you have control. You have the ability to put new triggers into your life, to create new habits and do them enough the simple steps enough every day so that those new things become a new habit. That's so simple, right? So hard. It's so, so simple, so hard, so simple not to do. When you live with the slight edge, you realize that you are going to need to program your mind and that you can do that when you understand the value of personal development. So to recap, Chapter 12, Review, Essential Points. The wisest investment you can make is to invest in your own continuous learning and development. Learning by studying and learning by doing, book smarts and street smarts, are the two essential pistons of the engine for learning. On the path to a goal, you will be off course most of the time, which means the only way to reach a goal is through constant and continuous course correction. So it's okay to fail and fall off track. Everybody does. Most of your life, 99.99% is made up of things you do on automatic pilot. 
which means it is essential that you take charge of the automatic pilot's training and you do that by investing in yourself and committing to personal development. Thanks so much for following us on our recap of the slide edge. Until next time.